Stepper motors need a special driver in order to work. You cannot connect them directly to a battery or a power source. In this video, however, I will show you a little trick in order to make them work without the driver. There are several types of stepper motors. Bipolar motors have two coils, therefore you will have four wires coming out of the motor. Unipolar motors have four coils, therefore you can have up to eight wires coming out of the motor. These four coils, however, can be internally connected like this and you will have five wires or they can be connected like this and you will have a motor with six wires. This method works with bipolar motors that have four wires. It is necessary to identify which wire corresponds to each of the coils. This is easy to do. We need an LED and all we have to do is to test the different wires to see if the LED lights up when we move the motor. There is no light here, therefore these two wires do not correspond to the same coil. If we try this and this, we see that the light is on, therefore we have here, here we have the first coil. Obviously, the remaining two wires correspond to the second coil of the motor. We have now identified the two coils, first and second. The connection goes like this. This is a 12 volt transformer. Now, these are two wires from one coil and these are the other two wires from the other coil so you have to connect one wire from each coil to the terminals of the transformer the remaining two wires are connected together now take a capacitor with a capacitance from 100 to 500 microfarads the exact value depends on the motor choose a value of capacitance that makes your motor run smoothly and without vibration. Then connect one terminal of the capacitor to the central wire and the other terminal to one of the terminals of the transformer. Let's connect to this terminal and now I will apply power. You can see that the motor is running Now, if you want to reverse the motor direction, you only have to move the connection from one point to the other of the transformer. It is running clockwise, and now anti-clockwise. You have to take into account that there are three ways to connect two of the four wires of the motor. This is one way, this is the second way, and this is the third way to connect them. The correct way is this. However, since we don't know the internal connection of the coils, we have to test the three possibilities. We only know that these two wires are one coil and these two are the other. The three possibilities are to connect together these two or these two wires or these two. You have to test the configuration that makes your motor run. 